Are you looking for some tasty pranks to play on your family or friends this April Fool's Day? If so, then this video is for you. All of the pranks in this video are super easy to pull off and none of them are gross or mean-spirited. There's no frosting covered sponges or toothpaste filled Oreos in this video. Only food pranks that you'd actually want to eat, except for maybe the mashed potato sundae. These pranks are cute and fun, and I can't wait to share them all with you. I'm Jennifer with The Family Fudge, and I love sharing ideas to help make every day special. On April Fool's Day, you might wanna start your day with the most important meal of the day, which is breakfast. And I have a couple of different prank ideas in mind, starting with the stuck cereal prank. For this, you're gonna start with the cereal of your choice. Next, you're going to take some cereal bowls and you're going to lightly grease them with butter. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and set a spoon into each of the bowls and then set them aside. Next, in a microwave safe bowl, I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter followed by two and a half cups of mini marshmallows. And I really like to use the mini marshmallows because I feel like they melt a lot faster. Now, all I have to do is pop this in the microwave for about a minute or so, or until the marshmallows are completely melted. And now it's time for the cereal. You're gonna be adding three cups of whatever cereal is your favorite, and then you're going to mix to combine. Now, I'm going to add this mixture to the different bowls with the spoon already in the bowl. That part is important. And as I'm adding the cereal in here, I'm going to press down just like you would if you were making a Rice Krispie treat. So by now you guys are probably getting the idea that this cereal and spoon are stuck on the bottom of the bowl. Now I'm going to set these aside for about five to 10 minutes just so the cereal treat can get hardened. And then right before you serve this, you're going to add some fresh cereal right on top to hide the treats underneath. And a bonus tip you guys, make sure to ask whoever you give the bowl to to give the cereal a taste before you add the milk. Now, this next idea is great. If you don't have all the time to make cereal surprise number one, this time you're just going to grab your cereal bowl and to it, you're going to add just a couple of drops of food coloring directly to the bottom. It doesn't matter what color you use. I really like purple or green, but you do you. Next, you're gonna cover this up with the cereal. You definitely wanna hide the fact that there's food coloring in here. Then, whoever adds the milk to this bowl is going to have a big surprise when all of their milk turns a shade of purple or green or whatever color you chose. This is seriously one of the easiest pranks that you can pull on April Fool's Day. Next up is the sunny side surprise. And you guys, for this prank, all you're going to need is some vanilla Greek yogurt. I like the Greek yogurt because it's thicker. And then you're also going to need some apricot halves. I get the kind in the can because they are easy and ready to go. Now all you have to do is plop your yogurt down on your plate and you're gonna wanna spread it out a bit so it looks just like the white of a fried egg. Next, I'm just gonna take one of the apricot halves and I'm going to add it towards the center of the yogurt. And you guys, it really does look like a sunny side up egg, but of course this one is actually egg free. Now to go along with our sunny side surprise, I'm also gonna be making some breakfast fries with ketchup. For this prank, all you're going to need are some apples. Any variety will do. And once you've washed them, all you have to do is peel off all the skin. Next, I'm gonna use this crinkle cutter, but if you don't have one of these, you can just use a regular knife. And I'm just going to cut the apple into French fry looking sticks. Now, if you wanna keep these from getting too brown, you could sprinkle some lemon juice all over these fries, but I'm just gonna serve these with a little bit of strawberry jam on the side for dipping, but of course, I'm telling my kids that it's ketchup. 
This next prank is great to take to work or to any gathering. And to pull it off, you're going to need to head to your favorite donut shop. Of course, mine is Krispy Kreme because I used to work for them many years ago. But at the donut shop, you're going to want to buy a dozen donuts, any kind you want. But if you're at Krispy Kreme, I recommend the original glazed. It is the best. Now, when you're there ordering, you're going to need to very nicely ask for an extra empty box. Now, when I'm doing this prank, once I get back home, I like to print out a sign just like this one, and I like to tape it to the top of my empty donut box. Then into this box, I'm also gonna be adding a veggie platter. So when people open this box, they're going to be expecting to see some beautiful donuts but instead they're gonna have a healthier option. But of course, also remember to bring along that real dozen of donuts too. That way after you prank them, you can also give them a real donut. Now you guys, let me know in the comments down below. Do you think the box of veggies will be gone first or do you think the box of donuts will? It wouldn't be a holiday for me without coming up with some kind of holiday themed lunch. So this first one I'm calling the Lucky Lunch. This one, of course, is super easy as well, and it doesn't take a lot of time to put together. Basically, all you're going to do is grab whatever food you would normally put in a school lunch or a work lunch, but there's a twist. For a fun surprise, you're gonna go ahead and get yourself some googly eyes and a little bit of glue. Now, I got these ones at Target, but you can also find them at Walmart. And I'm basically just gonna add a set of these googly eyes to each individual item in the entire lunch bag, just like this. You guys, this is so cute and so easy, and I know my daughter Lily especially is gonna love this one. Now this next super simple idea is something that can easily be added to any lunchbox. All you're going to need are some chocolate Easter eggs and some grapes. You're just going to carefully remove the chocolate egg from the foil wrapper and you're going to replace it with a grape. Then roll it back up as nicely as you can and stick it in the lunchbox. Now I'm going to add mostly grapes in here, but for a fun surprise, I'm also going to add a few regular chocolate eggs in here as well. Next up, Cheetos. This next prank will work really well if you have a chip lover in your life. You can use any kind of chips you want for this, but of course I'm going with Cheetos. All you have to do is carefully open up your bag of chips and dump them all out. Next, I'm going to replace all of these Cheetos with baby carrots. To reclose this bag, I'm using this resealer gadget that I got on Amazon. But if you don't have this, you could also use some double-sided tape. The whole idea is to make this look like it's never been opened. This is a super easy prank that's perfect to throw into any lunch bag. And speaking of lunch bags, I'm also gonna be adding in an apple with an alarming addition. Now I'm gonna go ahead and slice this apple using my apple slicer to remove the core. But if you don't have one of these, you can just use a regular knife to cut up your apple. Then basically I'm just going to remove a little bit of the center of the core. Then I'm going to put the apple back together. And in that space that I made, I'm going to add one gummy worm. So it's like a gummy worm surprise in the middle of the apple. And I'll tell you what, this is the only kind of worm that I'd like to find in my apple. Next up, I have a couple of dessert ideas, starting with some brownies. And you guys, this one is super easy. First, you're going to need some brown construction paper. Next, you're going to draw out just a few letter E's and then cut those out. Now, all you have to do is place your brown E's in your baking pan and make sure to cover this with foil so you don't give away the prank too early. These aren't brownies, they're brown E's. Now you guys, when I do this prank, I'm always sure to actually have some brownies hidden on the side. That way I can whip them out at the end of the prank and it's not too mean. Last up is a fudgy sundae. And I say fudgy because it's not really what it seems. To make this look like a real sundae, I'm gonna start by using these waffle bowls. But instead of ice cream, I'm gonna make up some mashed potatoes. Now you could make these from scratch, but I didn't. And keep in mind, you're gonna want your mashed potatoes to be on the thicker side. That way, when you scoop it, it'll look more like real ice cream. 
Next, I'm going to drizzle on some hot fudge, which is really just some gravy. And then right on the top, I'm adding a cherry, which is actually a cherry tomato. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to try any of these pranks yourself. And if you like this video, definitely go check out this video right here. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.